Hello crypto fans, today we're comparing two top hardware wallets, Decent Biometric and Trezor. Let's break down each one and see how they stack up to find the best fit for you. Buckle up, this will be quick. First, the Decent Biometric Wallet. Made by IO Trust in South Korea, it's known for its fingerprint authentication, adding a unique security layer. It supports over 4,600 assets across 84 plus networks like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. With a 1.1 inch OLED screen and Bluetooth connectivity, it's mobile friendly, pairing with OS and Android apps. Priced at around $119, is great for tech savvy users who want biometric security security and DeFi features like staking, but it lacks a touchscreen and desktop app, which can feel limiting. Next, we have Trezor, a pioneer from Satoshi Labs in the Czech Republic. Models like the Safe 3 and Model T support over 8,000 cryptocurrencies. Trezor's open source firmware boosts transparency, and the Safe 5 offers a 1.54 inch color screen touchscreen with EAL6 Plus certification for top tier security. It uses USB connectivity and the Trezor Suite app for desktop and mobile. The Shamir backup option splits your seed phrase for added recovery security. However, no Bluetooth means less mobile flexibility. Now, let's compare. Decent shines with biometric security and Bluetooth for mobile users, but its EAL5 Plus chip is slightly less secure than Trezor's EAL6 Plus chip on Safe 5. Trezor offers open source transparency and more coin support, but lacks wireless connectivity. Price wise, Trezor Safe 3 is cheaper, while Decent's $119 hits the middle ground. For beginners or Bitcoin purists, Trezor's simplicity and lower cost win. For DeFi enthusiasts or those prioritizing biometrics, Decent's your pick. So, which is your pick? If you value open source and broad coin support, go Trezor. If biometrics, and mobile access are your thing, choose Decent. Check out the chart below for a quick recap and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.